We believe that relapsing remitting MS and primary progressive MS are both triggered by something that causes an abnormal immune-mediated response. Both involve immune system attacks on the insulating layers around the nerve fibers, or axons, of the central nervous system. However, MRI scans show that relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis tends to involve more active inflammation than primary progressive MS and there is more damage involving the brain than the spinal cord. On the other hand, MRIs often show that primary progressive MS causes more lesions on the spinal cord. There are other differences as well. In relapsing remitting MS, relapses or attacks characterized by the onset of mild to severe symptoms occur sporadically and unpredictably. They happen when increased inflammation triggers symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, tingling in the extremities, cognitive difficulty, vision, or even bladder problems. Remission occurs when the symptoms begin to disappear. They may go away partially or even completely. Remission can last for months or even years, and the experience of relapse and remission can change from time to time. Relapsing remitting MS accounts for 85% of initial MS diagnoses. Primary progressive MS is not characterized by flare-ups and remission. In progressive MS, symptoms get worse over time without fading or disappearing and reappearing. Another course of MS is called secondary progressive MS. It often develops after a person has initially had relapsing remitting MS. There are many treatment options for someone with relapsing remitting MS. But right now, we really don't have very effective treatments for progressive forms of MS.